Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to a new series on a game called Sheltered. I believe this game is in early access and it's made by a company called Team 17. Quite similar to This War of Mine in the fact it's kind of person management inside a shelter of some sign. Obviously, like Sheltered kind of gives it away slightly. And uh, I've had a little run through and this game is really, really, really good kind of similar to the Fallout Mobile or mobile app. Um, what the hell was that called? Like Vault something, was it? Something to do with Vault. So I'm just going to jump right in and we're going to have to create some characters first. So we have two parents and two children. So I'm going to do like a kind of standard nuclear family because, you know, no pun intended, but nuclear bomb went off and ha 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 ha. Okay, so we're going to call him Jeff. Call him Jeff, because Jeff's just an amazing name for any man. And we're going to give him an orange shirt. Yeah, there we go. It's a black pants hair color. Um, yeah, we'll give him black hair as well. He looks like a Jeff. We could we could change his hair slightly. Give him like a bit of a like weird weird afro thing there. Um, let's give him some actual pants. There we go, that looks better, like he looks like he's been roughed up slightly. And basically each character has a trait as well, uh, hands-on, optimistic, resourceful, hygienic, small eater, courageous, deep sleeper, proactive, etc. So, probably going to go for resourceful. Um, yeah, let's go for resourceful. And then the stats preset, which is kind of similar to Fallout, really, to their special system. Um, and you can basically just change that to kind of street smart and what I'm going to be looking for with one character is perception and not necessarily strength so I'm going to use street smart for Jeff as when we search surrounding areas which I will show you in a sec uh, perception helps massively and I'll explain as I come to it so that'll do for Jeff and uh, let's get a lady into the mix Okay, Angela, that's fine. We're just going to keep all that. That's uh, no problem at all. And I'm going to actually make Angela's presets as violent as I need someone who can just completely fuck up stuff if we fight anyone. Um, there are NPCs in the world. And uh, I'm going to need that to just beat the living shit out of someone. Okay, so let's make the children. Um, let's randomize again. Betty, that's fine. So... I'm going to go for hands-on, and we're going to go for a smarty pants child. And then Marie as well. We're going to go for a kind of know-it-all, um, which is just an even balance of all of them. So let's jump right in. Uh, family name, we're going to call... Uh, I don't know what the surname should be. Um, let's just call him Window, the Window family. And we also got to pick a pet as well, so you can have a cat or a dog, they both do different things. Uh, I'm actually going to take a cat, because that needs feeding slightly less. Obviously they do both have benefits and kind of minus points as well. And we're also going to call the pet Jeff, but we're going to spell it a different way. So we've got two Jeffs in the house, one's a cat, and then we've got Angela and the two kids, one of them's called Betty, and I can't remember what the other one's name was. Uh, I don't need to play the tutorial as I will kind of talk through this, but yeah, hopefully this uh, this series goes pretty well if you guys have recommended this. And uh, yeah, looks good. Okay, so this is our shelter. Right, so I'll just try and explain everything first to you that haven't seen it. So we've got a water filter and an oxygen filter. These are obviously keeping our fallout shelter in decent condition. Uh, we've got a generator as well, which runs off fuel that po powers the, the lights, the water filter, the oxygen filter, and I think if you get like a makeshift shower and other things as well. We've got this RV, camper van, kind of breaking bad vibe to it. And with this you actually can repair it, uh, but I think that's kind of late game stuff. And when you search in areas, that allows you to do it at a really rapid rate. Okay, so these hazmat suits, you can't actually go out into the world with these and explore. You can only go up top using these, and that is to fix stuff like this. And I mean, yeah, hilarious, but I think these all got like a kind of random kind of strength and endurance to them. 
And then we've got our workbench as well where we craft stuff. And then we've got our cat. And then this bit is where if you find tools like a chisel and stuff like that, it just increases crafting speed. So the first thing we're going to do is actually send Jeff the man, not Jeff the cat, out on an expedition. Okay, so that's just basically hunger, thirst, tiredness, toilet, dirtiness, stress, and trauma. Obviously, trauma goes up if uh, I think either the cat or one of the family members dies. Okay, so this is our map, so this is where we're situated, and each move basically takes water. So we've only got 30 water at the moment, and obviously that will change if it rains, and our water filter is doing well and it's efficient, that will then fill up the water tanks. But uh, we've got these nearby, so we've got a school and a small house. So what I'm going to do is get Jeff to go like that, and uh, as you can tell it's going to take four water. And he's just going to go up and down like that, which is fine. So let's confirm. And each time you go out, like every single time you go out, you need a gas mask. So let's equip one of them on Jeff. You can actually craft these with the right equipment. And we're also going to send Angela out as well. Oops, sorry. Just got to open these doors. Okay, there we go. If you open both of them doors, it starts contaminating the place. And everyone gets radiation sickness and it goes a bit Chernobyl, uh, which is not what we want. So let's send her out to the opposite side as well. Let's just send her to the church. And I'm actually going to send her there just to maybe get a bit more visibility on this area. Although her perception isn't as good as uh, as Jeff the man. Jeff the man. Uh, let's equip that and we can send her out into the wasteland as well. And we're going to get the kids to do some crafting. In fact, what I'm going to do is let's take the suit. I'm actually going to get one of the kids, Betty, to fix the water filter. Uh, let's open that. Right. Okay. Uh, just bear with. There we go. And we can just close that. Right. There we go. So we've basically got a transmission coming through, and this is from whoever we've sent out, generally. Um, as far as I know, anyway, this is for whoever we've sent out on a scouting mission, or a supply mission, and they will say... I've stumbled across a location. Do you want me to search it? So I'm going to say yes. Okay, so Betty is now fixing up the water filter. And there we go. That's the amount we've got. That's the amount that's in the generator. Obviously, you can upgrade everything to make it more efficient, more durable. Okay, so Marie's going to answer this. Okay, so Angela's found her location. She's going to search that as well. And uh, let's get... Oh, shit. Transmissions left, right, and center. Okay, right. So this is the stuff we found in the small house. So we've got limestone, sand, a valve, fuel, and obviously food are the the two main ones really that we need. Uh, and I think you can only carry six items for the time being. So I'm going to take these building supplies as well, and a book for stress reduction, and some duct tape. The valve's probably worth a bit more when you get traders coming round, but not really an issue at the moment. We've just got to set stuff up okay so i'm just going to try and craft a sleeping bag so i should be able to actually get two sleeping bags on the go let's craft that one there and there's a light dust storm on the surface at the moment that's fine okay so we're just waiting for jeff to come back and uh let's just accept this angela's just got to the church okay so she's got some food rations as well which is good and some sand and some limestone. So I think when they get back, we might actually be able to expand the shelter already, which is good. Uh, also going to take the nail and the pipe, because that can be used as a weapon. And I'm going to have to leave that there for the time being. Okay, there we go. So decent stuff. So let's just wait until they get back. Oh, shit. Something else has happened. Okay, hello Betty, this is Jeff. I can see what it looks like, a large reservoir in the distance. Should I check it out? Yeah, we'll get him to investigate it just so we know it on our map for the time being. And he can then, well, anyone can then go out tomorrow. And if it is a reservoir, then God knows what's there. But I think the map changes every time. I'm not too certain about that, but I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so Betty's done fixing. This looks like a really small version of Jesse. But uh, that's fine. Probably without like the, the crack addiction or the meth addiction. 
Okay, let's just get her to accept this. Okay, Jeff the base. I found someone in this large reservoir. Okay, so I'm gonna actually going to speak to these strangers. Uh, like I said before, you do have random encounters with NPCs. I thought that was Angela then. You aren't here on your own. Okay, I'm going to try... Uh, she's actually got a weapon. I'm unarmed, so... I don't want to recruit her at the moment. Obviously, it is good to have more people because you can get more done, but I haven't got the food or any of the infrastructure set up to actually take in any more people at the moment. So I'm just going to flee. Okay, I think she's actually running after me, which is... No, she isn't. Right, fine. She actually ran after me then. I thought, okay, this could be a problem. Um, but no, it's fine. Okay, so... There's a lot of water in the reservoir. I'm actually going to take some of this home. Um, I'm actually going to drop the book. We can get a decent amount of water there. And I think what I'm going to have to do now is actually make a separate water tank. I believe. Let's craft... There we go. I there is to put this somewhere like that. There we go. And I think we can actually just store a lot more water then. And especially when it rains as well. That kind of increases our max capacity of of water we can get from rain. It's okay, so two good loot runs really. Um, location search. So the perception of Angela has actually gone up which is nice. And let's transfer all these items. Okay, good stuff. So got a decent amount of stuff already actually. Um, and here's a man called Douglas. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Right, he's actually found some more stuff. Jeff, the man with his perception. Okay, so Marie is actually thirsty at the moment, so we're going to get her to drink some water. I think this gentleman's going to be looking for some kind of sanctuary. And we're probably going to have to tell him to fuck off. So, let's see. Right, Douglas. No. Right, he wanted to come in, but no, not interested whatsoever. Not interested at all. Okie doke. Right, so what we're going to do now is just quickly expand the shelter. Ah, no shit. Right, I need to make one cement. Uh, what are you doing, love? Let's accept that. Jeff to base, if someone in the lumberyard looks like they want to talk, let the party handle it, I think, means leave them alone. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to leave them the fuck alone. Oh, we've got another. Okay, right. So this is what Jeff has found. Um, hmm. I mean, there's some good stuff there. Hatchet, we could really use as a weapon. Um, so I'm going to drop the sand and take the hatchet. Wood and stuff like that we don't really need at the moment. A sander, I think, increases, re obviously, repairing and crafting speed. So we could do with that as well. So I'm going to take that and we're going to have to come back for the limestone. Um, but a fairly decent first day, really. Douglas is just fucking off now, which is fine. And uh, we're busy making some such things. So let's just quickly get Angela to check this message as well. And we'll get Jeff to search that location. But I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the first episode, just getting a feel for the game. And hopefully in the next episode, I'll actually manage to expand and build some more stuff, get some more items, and start moving forward from there. So... As always guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.